In today's video, I have the TP-Link SG2210 10 port gigabit switch with PoE plus power and two connectors for SFP at one gig speed. This switch offers a total of 61 watts of PoE power across eight RJ45 ports. To connect this into my network, I'll be utilizing the SFP connectors along with the TP-Link 1 gig SFP connector. This is the SFP connector from TP-Link. It's designed to work with RJ45 cables that plug directly into the SFP ports on many of their switches. This switch is designed to work on the TP-Link Omada platform which is a network defined or software defined networking platform. Some of the features of this switch are centralized management, multi-site management, static routing, VLANs, access control, and of course, compatibility with the coveted Omada app across iOS and Android. Some of the use cases for this switch are IP phones, IP cameras, access points, computers, laptops, Now this switch is designed for more of the pro-consumer lineup and business, businesses, mostly small to medium-sized businesses. Um, you may be able to use it on enterprise, but uh, you probably want something more robust for your enterprise. Now, many of you are probably thinking this is just a gigabit switch. Why not go to the 2.5 or 10 gigabit lineup? Frankly, those switches are a lot more expensive than the gigabit, and for my home use, case, a home use case, the one gig is more than enough, which for majority of the enthusiasts out there, one gig will probably be more than sufficient. Once opened, this is how the switch is packaged on the inside. You get an external power brick, external power wire cable, and the actual switch. The switch is made up of um, solid metal construction. You have a series of LED lights across the front. You have your reset switch here, and all your connectivity is on the back here. You, like I mentioned, this is a 10 port, so you have eight RJ45 one gig connectors and two SFP at one gig connectors. Now, the secret about the SFP and the reason why I decided to go with this switch was when used with a proper SFP module like I'm using in this instance the official TP link module you are able to achieve a little bit higher speed than one gig you're gonna get around 1.25 so one and a quarter now it's not a whole lot but for most home use cases this will be more than sufficient for your home network my plan is to connect my backbone connection to one of the SFPs here, all the way to my main 24 port switch that I have up, upstairs in the closet where all my cables are junctioning to provide a, tw a one and a quarter connection throughout my entire home. And of course the PoE across the eight ports is an additional plus here on that. So let me show you where I'm going to connect my switch. So this is my little network stack here. You can see I have my internet connection there and a secondary internet connection and my current stack. So this switch is going to replace this bottom network switch which will give me an additional two ports here. This is where all the internet is supplied to the rest of the house sitting right next to my home server here that runs everything. And once connected, the rest of my devices will get one and a quarter networking. So from here, the next step would be unplugging everything at my network switch and modem setup and just plugging everything in, you know, just for a one-to-one -one connection, quite simple. Before I, I will uh, actually do the physical connection for everything, I will connect into it using a laptop so I can log in and put this switch on the VLAN that I am using in my network because you know TP-Link product does come defaulted to the 
0.1 network. So that is something you would have to do before installing. Aside from that, that's it for this video. Please leave a comment if you have any questions, any uh, criticisms or anything. And as with all my videos, this is not a sponsored video. This is a product that I bought with my own money. TP-Link did not send me anything, uh, nor do they have any influence on what I have to say about their product. Thank you.